Hey hi everyone this is Mukesh Rani once again from learn-automation.com Today in this lecture I will be talking about how you can generate very interactive html report in postman okay now you must be wondering why i am covering this topic again because the same video i have covered yesterday and we already discussed how we can generate the html report in postman using newman right then why i am covering the same topic because now we have one additional report in postman okay which is little interactive as compared to this old report so we will be using a different report called html extra so that will be little interactive it will give more information about your collection about your test and we'll get more information about the iteration past fail skip test and so on okay so before i move to that video uh, process i just want to show you how does your or uh, how that report will look like okay so depends on a requirement you can use either this report which i'm going to cover now or the one which we already covered here so in case you are new to this channel then hit the like button share with your friends subscribe to this channel and i would highly recommend you to watch this series i have tried to cover almost every single thing from postman and couple of more videos are, are coming on postman so this series will definitely help you a lot okay so just search for another report called html extra okay just search for new main html extra and you will get their official link so if you see it's uh yeah so if you see the example it looks something like this you can also change the theme and you can see we have different filters so i will show you this now but it's very uh, interactive report and when it comes to implementation it's quite easy just like how we did for the older report in a similar way we just need to install this as small package and you are good to go okay so you just need to install this package and you need to run your collection super easy just two clicks and your report will be ready okay so let me show you this so let me start with cmd and let me use this command npm install hyphen g g for global and this is the package that you need to install okay so new man hyphen reporter hyphen html extra hit enter and it will install this package in your particular local system now in case if you don't have new man you need to install new man as well and in my case i have new man and i have this html extra also uh, installed in this system so it will not install again it's already there so it may simply check and if some update it will download otherwise otherwise it will say that this module or package is already installed okay so let it install in the meanwhile let's quickly go back to our postman and let's execute or let's see which collection we want to run okay so in our previous series we already discussed so many collections so let me just run one collection because this is going to be same whether you run one collection or multiple collection okay so let me export this collection and we'll see so just right click uh, not right just click on these three dots and you will see one option called export and now it will ask you which option you want so let's select the last one which is recommended this one is already deprecated so it will give you this particular collection in a form of json file so let's continue now it will ask you the location so location i already have one folder called postman tutorials in case you don't have just create a new folder or any other folder and just save this and it will give you this message your collection is exported successfully let me just check yeah and this is our postman collection already here in case if it is not coming as a json file for you don't worry you can just rename to dot json file and it will be ready for you in case it is coming just like it is coming for me we are good to go in case if you want to cross check just open this open in a notepad and you will see how many requests you are running okay what type of request what kind of uh, headers and all the details you will get here cool so our collection is ready and let me quickly check yeah so this is already installed in my system so the version which i am using at the time of recording is 1.17.3 but in your case if you are just watching this video at later stage you might get a different version that's not an issue just continue with that and now when it comes to uh, how do we use it it's very straightforward we just need to use one small hyphen r which is for reporting and you need to use one keyword called html extra okay so let's do that let me do cls 
okay let me just type new man which is new man is a module that we installed then i need to say run then i need to provide the collection which we want to run in our case we want to run this collection right finally i want reporting so i will put hyphen r and uh, we need to say html extra right so r html extra hit enter it will take few seconds depends on what kind of collection you have for me it's just two requests it will execute quickly and right now you can see i'm not getting anything on the console or command prompt but by default this is our path right c drive users user so let's go to this here yeah, which is already opened here c users user now here you need to search a new folder called new man in case if you have this it's fine if you don't have it will create a new folder for you called new man okay and this is just now generated a report for us so just right click uh, just double click on file and you will get the report looks amazing right so now if you just click on the dark section you will see a dark report this is just two theme options they have uh, you can go with light or dark i prefer dark so first section you can see it's summary in the summary one it will show you how many iteration you have which is one iteration in our case total number of assertion is two zero failure zero scripts uh, zero skip test then you will get the file information which is nothing but your collection information then you will get some other information like how much time it took what kind of data it received average response time and this is the summary in summary it will include request pre-request total number of scripts assertions and skipped number of test cases in our case it was a basic collection so it just executed two requests and two assertions okay now if you just come back here total request on top you can see we have one iteration right in case if you have multiple iteration you will see multiple iteration uh, will be listed here and for each iteration you can see what request you have sent okay so this is iteration one and this was the first uh, request that we made so it is showing that we are calling this particular url this was the method which was get and uh, response code total time and size per second and very good thing about it will also show you the headers part okay so these are the headers which is uh, getting from the request and this is the response headers so it is giving you information about each and every request that you are sending and this is your response body okay and you can copy to clipboard and you can continue right so this is just one test or one request this is another request so if you just open this part you will see another uh, api which we called right this was for country based number of uh, iteration was one two requests is the second request method was get total uh, time and all then request header response header and again response body so it's very informative and in case if you have multiple iteration if you remember our previous example we did three iterations you will get all the three iterations in our case right now we have only one okay so this is for field test cases in case if you have right now we don't have so it says there's no field tests, test cases and this is for skipped one so right now we don't have any skipped test so it is also blank right so again nothing to code here it is just you need to use hyphen r with html extra and in case if you have some uh, environment variables which you have already uh, used in your collection you just need to export that as a collection and you can pass it that we already covered in this video okay so in case if you want to know how we can run collection with environment then watch out this video where we already discussed about how to run postman from command line using newman it covers everything so I hope you like this reporting and I hope you will implement the same. So just we cover two reporting, you just implement which one you like and let me know your thought in the comment section. And in case if you like this video, then please share with your friends, subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.